I was using this tuning device to show you how to do some tuning but it's also quite a good thing to have in a lesson uh, if you've got one of these or if you fancy getting hold of one of these they're quite interesting to show what happens when you play a note so when I play a note the C lights up and the needle tells me if it's dead centre it's perfectly on tune if it's a little bit that way it's a little bit flat and this red light comes on to remind you and if it's a little bit sharp um, this red light here comes on and the needle goes that way. This is increments in sense that for the needle so the first thing you look at is which of those letters is lit up and it might have the sharp sign as well If you play two notes at once, it doesn't know which one to describe. So it'll just guess, I suppose. Uh, this is also quite good for helping people to bend notes. If I take this, the, uh, the D on hole one of the four hole, it's already a bit flat, I can tell that. It doesn't matter too much, but it's not ideal. If I bend it down, I'm going to bend it down to the C sharp. The two draw will bend a little bit. Not very much. And the three draw will bend a bit more. And the four draw won't bend very much at all. Not really. So that's a little bit about bending. Uh, they don't blow bend, these particular ones. <laughs> Nearly, but not, not very effectively. You can slightly get a bit on each. So they don't blow bend properly because they don't get down to the next semitone. But draw bending you can on hole one. And hole three. And the other two don't really. No. No. So it's one and three if you're using the four hole instrument for draw bending. On the 10 hole, it's a whole different story. I'll do that one in a minute. OK, bending notes on the 10 hole instrument is a quite different game. Um, I've got the standard Silver Star here and the Harp School harmonica will be the same thing because it comes from the same factory and it's the same body to it, pretty much. Um, and I've got a custom harmonica there which is going to respond a lot better. So let's have a go on the, the ones that the kids have first of all. So I'll take hole one which is a D as you can see and bend it down to D flat or C sharp so that's not too bad. Um, hole four should do the same That's not too bad. Hole six, you'll get an A and then a a, a a flat G sharp as you bend it down. So those are the first three to try. Hole one, hole four, hole six. Hole five only bends a quarter tone, so there's not very much point in doing that. But I'll do it anyway. The, by the way, the, the first note I'm playing is a draw note, then I'm draw bending, and then I'm blowing. So that's hole one, hole four, we did hole five, and hole six. Uh, I'll show you hole two now. 
Now this should bend down two semitones and then blow. And then hole three should bend down. The first note is just the normal straight draw note. And then you've got three degrees of bending on this one. And then the blow note. So there's five notes available on hole three, if this instrument will do it. And I'm not sure if it will. Let's try. No, it's not too bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be. So those are all the draw bends, holes 1 through till 6. When you get to 7, it's blow bending. 7, 8, 9 and 10, you blow bend. 7 will have a quarter tone. Eight has an extra semitone. I'm tending to flatten these a bit more than you should really. Hole oh, nine has a quarter uh, semitone. And hole ten has the the blow note, the draw note, and two semitones in between. It's really hard to pitch this one, and it doesn't sound too good. The neighbours do not like it. Bats love it. Neighbours don't. Okay, so that's how it all works on the standard Silver Star. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I haven't really put that to the test. Um, this one should be better. There's hole one. A little bit sharp. I, I like to have these just tiny bit sharp so that it sounds brighter. I don't have to play so loud. Uh, I'll see if I can do you a chromatic scale. Okay, not perfectly pitched, but that was a three octave fully chromatic scale. Uh, that's it for now. Good luck.